Alright, we just came into a new area. It is smoking right off the bat. So we, uh, I was going to go to the place where I got on the pigs the other day, the other evening, about dark. Actually, I ran out of light. I was on hogs. But I decided to check out a new area. It looks like, Lord willing, I might be able to hunt tomorrow. And I'll check out that. Uh, I'll go to my honey hole tomorrow. I'll do some more exploring today. Y'all come on and go with me. Looks kind of piggy in here for sure. I like to pay attention right here where I'm walking crossing these ruts. If any person had been here and crossed, he'd have walked right here. The only tracks we got right here is a hog and a deer and a coyote. So we may have this place to ourselves from I mean, it may not be in that mud. I track a show a long time. Ain't nobody been in here. There have been some hogs in here for sure. We're just having trouble finding one. Y'all check this out. You've heard me say that we didn't have acorns down here, water oak acorns this year. We had some chestnuts and white oaks. But the water oaks are what carry the animals through this time of the year because there'll still be a lot of them on the ground. But uh, they, hogs are scrounging for food right here. And, and they'll be fine. They survive. They piney wood rooters too, you know. I have to make sure I don't hear one. But this is something they've been feeding on. See, this is a little palmetto. And the old pig pulled this thing up. See where he chewed on that? Eat that root right there. What a lot of people don't know is a human, a person, can pull this out. This. And there'll be a little soft spot on the end and you can eat that. It's edible. So, uh, I keep seeing where they've been doing this a lot. See the dead ones there? See that one pulled up? They survivors. They'd be out here. But it makes it tough to hunt them because instead of a fairly open swamp with old water oak acorns in it, you gotta try to find them in that. And that right there is head high. Pretty tough hunting for me. I miss my easy swamp hunting. Not really so easy, but able to, to get on hogs pretty good when I did find them. Let me show you gun hunters and fellas that hunt with a longer range weapon than me. And even a traditional bow hunter could do this in here. He'd have to figure his way out. It's be really hard to hunt off the ground right here if you were setting up to hunt and sit in a place. But there is a there's a thick bottom. I've come into a box. Thick bottom all the way around right here. I mean all the way around. And this stuff here is kind of thick, but you look around me, it's not. But it, if you're walking out here, you're not going to see a hog 50 yards over there. My fella come down here rifle hunting, or even hunting with a compound, you know. These folks, some folks can shoot really good at longer distance. I don't say that's the right thing to do, but you know what your skill level is. You will climb in here at the crack of daylight and sit a while and then come back in the evenings. There's no way you won't see an animal in here. I guarantee you, especially deer hunting as well. This is a very good spot. And what I'm looking at, I'm looking through here, through this gap at some hardwoods in there. That's the water oaks. And I think I see a white oak or a chestnut oak right over there. It's a good place. Well, right, there's a wild oak right there or a chestnut. Look at that tree right there. We put some walk over and look at it. There's all kinds of 
little trail over here. Get your All kind of little trails running through here. All coming out of there. There's a hog rub right over there. Really, really good hunting. It's a little different than hunting in the swamp, but you can kill some stuff in here. I actually started out hunting in a place similar to this, a place called Dial's Pasture. There's nothing but pines. I may be a post oak right there. No, that's a white oak. Looking at the leaves, that's a white oak tree right there. How about that? There's probably some more. I see a big one right down in there. Right back there. Do some killing in these kind of places. What are you going to do, Rudd? Awful deep down the trail right there. Little pockets like that, though. Really good places to hunt. Man, I crossed that little creek there. And I'm um, up on the edge, walking parallel with it. I'm hoping I could hear something down there and up here. And uh, about every hundred yards or so, there'd be a white oak right here. There's another one right over there. And there's one here. And you can tell that they have made acorns too. I don't know if you can tell on the ground there, but it looks like a ground blind place over there behind that jucker. And I, I said I only got, I only bought a pass to hunt here just for hogs. And, and if we had acorns at home, I wouldn't be over here now. But uh, I see some, I mean, some excellent deer hunting opportunity right here, man. It's, I mean, I'm in the woods right here too. There's no easy way in here. You're getting away from some people. There's another white oak right down there. But this is beautiful. Two more, three more, four more right down there. And you see a lot of roads and uh, a lot of hog roads in here too. It's pretty. There's a little pretty magnolia tree there. Big pine oak right there. One right over there. There's about five right over there. Man, this is pretty. We might have to come back and set this gun at the end of September. Early October, these white oaks over here drop early. I remember that from what I did hunt over here in the past. Look at this place, this one here. So right here you got, got one, two, three, four, five. Got a big old log over there for ground blind. Really, really cool places in here to get. I'm digging it. Look at the ground. You can tell that they made from the ground there. Pretty. You gotta be scouting, scouting all year. But I want to see a hog right now. <laughs> Come up in a pretty little hammock right here. That is full of magnolia leaves, as crunchy as crap. We in a low little hammock right here. It is pretty too. Got chestnut oaks in it. The wind is misbehaving right here. Oh, 
have an abnormal palmetto right here. I reckon it's a regular palmetto. It looks different. That'd look good in your yard right there. Y'all check this out. This is a humongous live oak. See there? I mean, it is humongous, but it's wider than my bow is. And it's got a hole all the way through it. Look at that. It's wider than my bow. That's wild. See all kinds of stuff in the woods. All right, I got back to the truck quicker than I expected a while ago. We up here by the interstate. We uh, check out this other little place here. Uh, I got no idea what to expect, but I see pig sign in here. We're gonna stay on our feet till dark. And uh, maybe we'll see one. It's pretty in here. Just a little bit higher than where I was at a while ago. Looks like we got about an hour. A lot of sign in there. They like rooting around in that pine straw after bugs. That'd be some easy sneaking right here if we could find one out there. Perfect wind for all this too. Got a kind of a high, higher spot to my right. And then a cypress place right over there. Pretty, nonetheless. Let's go. These jokers like this grass, it looks like. These nut grass, I think it's called. It's getting late. We uh, we've been on foot about six, seven hours solid. Other than uh, sitting on a log every now and then, our boots are yellow from pollen. <laughs> but all you can do, all you can do, is walk inside like that. For as long as you can and uh, sooner or later you'll run across some hogs we about to head out of here we got a pretty good walk yet we in a fairly thick place this is where I'm finding most of the fish sign up in these pines little copper sweat places here this is wore out right here but I should be able to hear hogs at a distance even if I couldn't get on them and these thick palmettos, I don't hear nothing. On a bright note, I heard a gobbler fly up right back there since while ago. So, or I say a turkey, I don't know if it was a gobbler or not. And I actually killed a turkey with my longbow in here years ago. Right here, not within 100 yards of where I'm at right here. Probably 200 yards. I'll tell that story later on to y'all. But uh, my first hunt with my creek, I mean my, um, without my creek walker bow, I'm hunting with my Nate Steen Sunset Hill. Built just for me, I'm happy. This joker shoots good, it shoots good. And I love it, I mean, uh, I'm ready to shoot something with it. But uh, 
anyway, I'm too much yapping right here. It's been a good day. Thank you, good Lord, for good health, being able to get out and do this. And I uh, had all kind of afflictions the last few years. I tore a leg muscle. Uh, COVID liked to kill me two times. But uh, God still got me standing right here doing what I enjoy. And I'm feeling pretty doggone, pretty spry right now. I'm feeling pretty good. And I intend on really getting after them. The last couple of years, I ain't hunted like I normally would. But uh, I got that urge to really get on them. So that's what we're going to do this year. We bend, I think this is like 10 times we bend, 10 evenings. And uh, been on hogs probably, I don't know, four or five of those times. And But we ain't, we ain't got no shots. But we've had some close, had one seven yards. But uh, we're going to stay after them. Y'all keep the good Lord first. And uh, count your blessings. You got plenty of them. Plenty of blessings. It's a blessing to be standing right here where I'm at. My belly ain't growling much. I'm hungry, though. In good health. And uh, feeling good. See y'all next time.